Hello out there. This is Charles Eldermeyer from the Cornell Labs BirdCams project. And we've got a great opportunity today to hear from the senior terrestrial officer on Bermuda, Jeremy Medeiros, basically the Bermuda petrel expert, um, while he does a health check on our cam bird. So uh, without further ado, turn it over to Jeremy. Okay, um, well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's Jeremy Medeiros here from Nonsuch Islands on a beautiful um, afternoon, uh, which is quite a change from the last four days. We've had uh, very uncharacteristically low temperatures and near gale force winds for the last four days. Uh, temperatures into the 40s, which for Bermuda happens about once every five years. So it has been cold. I haven't been able to really get out here uh, to do much until yesterday. Um, but uh, we know that our cow cam chick has um, had a feeding visit from the uh, male bird last night, the male adult. Um, and we had a nice baseline weight from yesterday. So what I'm going to do is take it out very briefly and uh, give it a quick weight check. And then that will tell us exactly how much uh, the chick has actually been fed um, during that feeding visit. Um, this is, you know, valuable information because it helps us when we are taking care of the chicks during the transportation process, it helps us to determine um, what the amount of food we need to give the chicks, what's a normal um, feed weight, more or less. Um, so I'm just going to take off the lid, the heavy concrete nest lid of the nest, and these are designed to be heavy enough so that even hurricane force winds will not dislodge them. And as you can see, our chick um, just waking up, it's obviously been just resting. Um, during the day because he's had all that feed and now he just needs to basically convert that to uh, muscles and feathers and bones and he yeah, is quite um, heavy for his size he's still quite a young bird he'll be a week old tomorrow actually uh, since he hatched and uh, so this is basically a six year six day old um, cow chick and it does look like a rather agitated squeaky toy. That's what they sound like, more or less. Very warm down, and I can feel already that he, he feels quite um, plump for his size. Still a very small bird. Um, we've weighed a couple of other chicks in the Nunsuch colony, and uh, one chick uh, that hatched about uh, five days before this one is already up to 110 grams. So he was 72 grams yesterday. So um, we're gonna see just how much weight he gained last night when he was fed by his father, basically. Right. I don't feel like he's gained a lot, but he's just a nice, healthy weight for his size, for his age. Okay. So we just put him in a weighing bag, which they can breathe through. It's nice cotton, so it's breathable. And uh, keeps him comfortable and quiet. And so we could just weigh them on a accurate the solar scale and then just subtract the weight of the bag, which is four grams. So he is now, let's see. So minus the weight of the bag, he is now 83 grams. So he's gained 11 grams from yesterday. So not a big feed, but um, a steady increase in weight, um, which is perfectly normal. So I'm just going to uh, and take a quick look. We did check him after he had that uh, rather aggressive interaction with that um, intruder bird the other night, and he didn't seem to have any real injuries or anything at all. Uh, he's a very, very fortunate little chick. Um, so and his father cleaned him quite thoroughly last night as well. So. Yeah, so everything looks good. Um, the chick is growing, um, you know, normally and healthily. It's being uh, fed, you know, by the parents actually at a quite reasonable rate. Uh, sometimes these little guys can wait for a week or more by themselves without seeing either of their parents at all because they're both out at sea flying literally thousands of miles well north of the Gulf Stream, um, getting squid and shrimp-like crustaceans and small oily fish. Uh, for these birds to eat. When they're young, they actually partly digest them into a very oily uh, proventricular um, fluid, 
and then they regurgitate. That's what they regurgitate into the beaks of the uh, chick. The chick sticks his beak right up inside the parent. Uh, when they're about half grown to two thirds grown, the parents switch to feed them mostly whole squid and whole fish and such. Um, so, but you you normally you just have this very very energy dense um, um, pre digested um, oily gruel that the parents are feeding them now. It's one of the characteristics of the petrel family, including albatrosses and shearwaters, as well as gadfly petrels like the cahal. Okay, so i um, not going to keep them up any longer than we have to. It is warming up, thank goodness now, so not not the, you know, shock to him that it was a couple of days ago. He's looking great, and so we're going to just keep doing this every few days, every, every week, certainly. Uh, we'll be trying to share this with you and so we can follow the progress and the growth of our um, one such cahal chick and uh, he's got uh, at this point um, he's one of six chicks that have hatched and there's still about uh, four or five adults that are incubating eggs so we're hoping that um, we'll have uh, quite a few neighbors um, added to to what he already has in the next week or so Okay, so he seems settled in. We'll explore as he does. The nest chamber. Replace the concrete lid, which is designed to fit almost completely watertight and airtight so they don't get any drafts or drips. And uh, that's what we have to do uh, because this area can be subject to hurricane force winds and blowing spray and everything uh, you know, during the hurricane. But right now, it's beautiful and um, everything looks good for us. A little chick. So um, that's it. Uh, and uh, Jeremy Medeiros really uh, signing out from a sunny um, Lunsuch Island on a beautiful day. Um, and everybody have a great afternoon. Thanks a lot for joining us, Jeremy. We look forward to the next time talking with you.